Welcome back to the grind. How we doing family? All right, it is Sunday, April the 14th and we are just getting our day started. We actually slept in today, which was all fine. I was tired. Um, time is 8.45 in the morning. We just actually got our day going. Usually I'm up and going well before that, but it's all good. We are currently sitting at or sorry, $633.84 on Instacart. Uh, Uber Eats is at $33.25. DoorDash for $20.75. Nothing on Walmart Sparks. So that gives us a total of $687.84 for the week. We are down $412 of hitting our goal. Chances of hitting $400 today is are slim. So what we're going to do is just going to try to reduce the damage. We're going to aim to hit at least $200 today. They did give me promo. So I don't know if that's gonna help me or not. And it's not the greatest promo because you guys know all in California, we get these seven for 21, seven for 28s. Mine is seven for 21 today. Complete seven batches and giving an extra $21. I'm not really gonna think about it. Uh, usually I try to do it because if I complete my promos, then they won't give me promo for the next day. But just because I've started late, I don't think I'm gonna achieve it, which is all good. All right. Time is 8.48. We're going to hang over here at Ralph's and then hopefully we could pick up a couple small orders before the Costco drop at 10 o'clock. All right, guys, until our first pickup. All right, uh, time is 9.51. We're at Costco. Um, we sticked around at Ralph's. Have, there was nothing worth taking. We actually didn't see a Ralph's batch for that store for a good half an hour. Most of the orders that were coming across were from uh, stores across the town. Um, so we weren't heading over there to do that for like $17, $18 orders. But we're going to stay positive. It's still early in the day. Uh, we'll see what Costco brings for us. All right, guys, until then. All right, time is 10.01, and we're just chilling here trying to anticipate this Costco drop. Here we go, 35, two customers, 24 items, 27 units, 7 miles. But right now, like I said, that doesn't fit my criteria. Uh, first 15 minutes, I'm looking for something over $40. So we're definitely going to swipe that away. All right, somebody picked it up. All right, that was the first one. Let's see if there's any other to come. I'm sure there's others to come, whether they'd be good or not. That is the question. That's Uber Eats. Let's see. Oh, actually, that's a DoorDash. $8.25 going 2.6 miles, which is actually not a bad DoorDash, but right now we're at Costco waiting for the Costco drop, so definitely not going to be taking that. Now, I don't do anything particular at the Costco drop. Like, there's no, like, the only thing I can say I do is try to stay away from a group of shoppers so that we're just not all bundled together. Um, and I also like to look for a spot that gives me great internet service. Those are one of the main two things that I do when um, waiting for the Costco drop. All right, time is 10.05. And they've only dropped in that one batch on my screen, so... Um, not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe I should have taken it, but I'm gonna hold off. I'm sure I'm gonna get something somewhat decent. All right, so they dropped a 40. I took it, I wasn't gonna gamble no more. Um, we're just waiting for it to load. So it's $40, uh, two customers, 28 miles. Customer A has 21 items, as you can see here. And then customer B has seven items. Nothing really crazy on it. Nothing like super heavy or nothing. There is a case of water on one of them. So we're going to head over there and we're going to go shop that right now.
right, guys, we'll shop that in uh, 22 minutes. No replacements, no refunds. Let's go make our way to our drop-off, and I'll see you there. Batch price came out to be forty dollars and twenty-four cents. Took me an hour and five minutes. It does say Costco is busy, so we're gonna head back there right now. All right, guys, we picked up the next one. It's fifty-one dollars. It's a double shop. It's between Costco and Lowe's. Uh, it's only a total of like seventeen items. Seven items at Costco, and then the other ten at Lowe's. Um, usually, I don't take double shops, but I'm not gonna sit around and wait for a while. It's fifty-one dollars. It is going a little far. It's going sixteen miles, but I'm thinking that I might hang over where it goes and see if I can pick up any orders over there and, uh, to get back into San Diego area. All right guys, we shopped that in six minutes. We're gonna head over across the parking lot to Lowe's and then uh, start shopping that batch. All right, we made it here to Lowe's, so let's go grab these items. All right, guys, we finally got that one done. It took me three minutes. Uh, it does have six bags of uh, mulch, which is not too bad, but anyways, let's go get these dropped off and go from there. All right, guys, made it here to my first drop off, which was just across the road, but the problem is it's on the third floor. There's no elevators. And I have to carry all these things up there. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it in three trips. lost my balance there that would have been really rough if i ate car concrete okay Guys, here for first flight, second flight, third flight, and number four. That's 12 times up and down. All right, so we dropped that one off. The next one's a little far, it's in La Jolla, so we're gonna have a little probably like 20 minute car drive. We'll see you guys down there. All right, guys, drop that off. Batch price came out to be $56.69. It took me an hour and 24 minutes. All right, guys, so we uh, made it over to Marina because the last order dropped us over here. Uh, it does say it's busy uh, one to five minutes before we see a batch. I did see quite a few batches when I actually dropped off my last order, but ever since I've been back, I haven't seen anything really. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go use the restroom. And then if we don't get anything in the next 10 to 15 minutes, we're gonna head back into Mission Valley. 
Alright guys, walking into Costco and we pick up a 38 going 3.4 miles going south which is pretty cool because then it can bring me towards back into Mission Valley so we're going to go shop that right now. guys I shopped that batch in uh, 30 minutes uh, it did take me a little bit longer than normal I haven't shopped at this store in a good while now cool thing is like I said drop off is only 3.4 miles away so we'll see you guys there batch price came out to be $42.54 we're gonna head to Mission Valley and see if we can pick up an order from uh, that Costco over there all right guys we picked up our next batch it's a uh, $51 15 items which is awesome from Costco going 6.2 miles we're just heading over there from grabbing lunch and then we're gonna go shop that right now in and out in 20 minutes no replacements no refunds let's go get it dropped off We just dropped off that Instacart order. Batch price came out to be fifty-one fifty-four. Um, just nine dollars shy of uh, hitting my two hundred dollar goal. And we did pick up a batch. We just picked up a Walmart Sparks for seventeen dollars. It's a shop one, only going two point nine miles and a total of nine items. So we're just gonna go grab that right now, and then after that, we'll run through the numbers and see how we did.
road. Then turn left. All right, guys. Uh, in and out in 10 minutes. I was able to find everything. It was actually a pretty easy shop. Uh, making my way to my drop off is uh, four miles away. All right, we just dropped off that Walmart Sparks. And then uh, that is it for today, guys. We're gonna call it a day. Not too bad of a day. We'll run through the numbers in a second. All right, so let's recap the day. Uh, late start today, which was fine. Sometimes you need to just relax and uh, recuperate, especially if you've been going for 24 sevens. Um, we didn't get out of the house till 8.45 this morning, so I didn't pick up my first order until the Costco drop. A little disappointed I didn't see anything for Ralph's. I wanted to pick up like one or two small ones just to get going, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be. So we picked up our first order at the Costco drop. We picked up a 40. Uh, I only seen two batches. Uh, a 1002 they showed us a, like a, I think it was like a 35 for 33 items, something like that. And then uh, on my screen, they dropped a 40. I took it right away because it was only going like 4.8 miles. And uh, I think it was like 24 items. I'm not too sure exactly, but it was somewhere around there. And then I came back and then I picked up a 51 double shop. It was at Costco for seven items and Lowe's for four items. Uh, but one of the items had six units and you, that, uh, the mulch, which was not a bad and no issues at all. And uh, it didn't stink, which most of them do, but which was kind of good. Uh, it did take me a, a far away to uh, into La Jolla. So I went uh, to Morena after that and we picked up a 38 that was going south which was pretty cool because it was going back towards uh mission valley area there so we, we just did that that came out to be 42 once everything was said and done and then uh we picked up uh 51 uh, 15 items going 4.2 miles from costco fenton which was awesome and then that brought us to a total of like 191 and we just need like nine dollars to get to the 200 so I picked up a um, Walmart Sparks shop one for 1760, uh, eight items going 2.8 miles. Uh, shopped that in like 10 minutes. Uh, no replacements, no refunds. It was quite easy. And um, with all that said and done for the day, it brought me in at 208.61. Uh, beat my $200 goal by $8, which was awesome. All right, guys, that is it for today. Um, not a bad week. I got to do better throughout the week. I think that's what's hurting me. If you look back at my week, uh, my Mondays and Tuesdays really definitely hurt me. But it is what it is. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Until next time.